Due to my immense lack of sleep from school, I figured I'd make the 75th tutorial with you guys here tonight. Um, nothing truly special, uh, Counter-Strike tutorial only. I'm going to show you guys how, at the beginning of the round, there's that camera that just kind of observes the map so it doesn't view from a spawn point. So I'm just going to show you guys how to make that. Uh, relatively simple. I don't know if you know from the other tutorials, but they always open up right here with the gnome, -y, the gnome guy right there on the top of the waffle sign. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. Very simple. Just create one entity and make it a point view control. And under flags, you want started player and follow player checked. Next, you want to name it. I usually always name them cam underscore one. Next, create another entity and make it an info target. Name it something. I usually make it cam1 underscore target. And now you just want to select your point view control and under entity to look at, select cam target1. Now, it's relatively simple to do this. First, you want to take your camera and place it where you want the view to come from. So I'm going to put mine on this spot right here. So that's going to be right there. And now where it's going to look at. So basically, take your uh, info target. And what all I do is I go into my 3D view, place myself in front of the camera, and basically look where I want it to go, and then paste it right there. Next. To do more, it'll automatically cycle through. Just select the info target and the camera view control. Press Control C, and then look somewhere and press Control Shift V. This will do the paste special window, or you can use Edit and Paste Special. Now it'll create a copy of these with alternate names. That will automatically, um, they'll automatically change the name so they will not interfere with each other so then just go ahead and place this wherever you want it to go and boom. so you just want to place these and then it will automatically cycle through them at the beginning of the round so i'll make one more here Select this one again. Copy it. Control Shift V. And I just want this one overlooking the courtyard. Okay, so that's relatively simple. And I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this before, but in Counter Strike, when you're selecting your team, you can have text be there giving a brief map description there's one for ddus too giving a short backstory on the map it's it's kind of interesting so the first thing you want to do is go to save as and then just copy your map name exactly save it next you want to open up your counter strike directory so c strike and then go into maps right click go to new and text document paste your map name there Next, open up that map name, or that text document, and this is exactly what will be in game. So I'm just going to type some here. Then just save it, close, and then compile your map, and I'll see you in Counter-Strike. So here on Counter-Strike, I'm just going to go ahead and load up our map. Now, as you can tell, the menu has been loaded. I mean, the background is loaded in there. Now, give it a second, and it should change. There we go. Just switch to the second camera, and give it another second. It should switch to the first one. Okie doke. So now, it's cycled through all of our cameras automatically. 
if you press spacebar, the team select it says this map's made by Tabby Waffle for use in tutorials. Enjoy! Happy face. Now when you're at this menu, the cameras will stop cycling through automatically at this point. They only cycle through after you first join. So don't expect them to cycle through right here. But anyways, I hope this tutorial helps you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.